Are you following content marketing best practices in your business? In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you three of the best approaches to your content marketing so you are accomplishing your content marketing goals. And as a bonus, just because you watch this video, I'm going to send you the blueprint that my clients are following for their content marketing strategy. Just drop me a line below and I will send it straight to your DM. My name is Eric Leary and small business owners and entrepreneurs hire me to help them find hidden profits inside their business using my simple five step power profit formula so they don't have to spend more on advertising. In every single episode, I'm going to give you an actionable tactic that you can immediately implement that will attract more clients and give you an advantage over your competition. So in this video, I'm going to share best practices that you should be using to get the most out of your content marketing. So the first one, tried and true, um, is exposure. So if you were here, uh, the last video, if you weren't, um, I'll, I'll link it below, but if you, were, if you followed the last video, we talked about exposure and getting more exposure for your brand. Super important. However, this year going forward, it is even more important than ever to use what we call an omni-channel marketing strategy. That means you need to be in a bunch of different channels. Yes, I know, Gary Vee's been saying it for forever and everybody else is like, no, focus on one channel, focus on one channel, focus on one channel. No, you cannot do that anymore, it's critical. Because of all of the updates and stuff that have been going on, ads aren't as effective as they used to be and we want to make sure that we're still getting out there and getting our message and really, really we need to be as omni-channel, omnipresent as possible. So make sure that you are getting out there and getting to a few, if, if nothing else, at least two to three different channels that you need to get your message out there. It doesn't mean you can't focus your efforts on one channel. If you're doing video, you can focus on YouTube, right? Do all of your videos for YouTube, but then repurpose that content throughout some other channels. You can either hire somebody to help you repurpose that or um, do it yourself, but take little pieces or tidbits or um, parts of that video, whether you pull out audio, you pull out some content and have it written, you know, create little quotes and put it on Instagram, however you want to do it, but create one piece of content and repurpose it, but make sure that you are getting as much exposure as possible. And typically the easiest way is by repurposing the same piece of content that you were already creating anyway. Second best practice for content marketing right now is by using your competitor's research, your competitor's um, tried and true practices. What are they doing? How are they finding success already? So some of the ways you can do that is by looking at their blogs, watching their webinars, checking out their sales pages, their funnels, um, listening to their podcasts, right? What are some of the things that you wanna look at? What are proven topics that they're talking about? Maybe headlines that they're already using? Which ones are really getting the attention of their audience? If they have a similar audience to you, how can you use that same topic or that same headline? Maybe reword it a little bit, right? But get that same idea. Check out their thumbnails. What is it that your competitors are doing that you can kind of borrow, right? Their keywords. You know, that kind of goes with their topics, right? But what are they focusing on that their clients are picking up on? You know, filter for what's really popular or what's really happening. And make sure you, you look at what's going on now. You know, just because one of their videos has more views than any of the other videos, check and make sure, is that from the last, you know, six months or is that from four years ago? I want you to use the content that's true to right now because things have changed, right? Things have changed since last year. Things have changed since the beginning of this year. Things change constantly. So try to look at what they're doing right now and look at your you know, competitors on your same level, but also go up. What are those big, big dogs doing in, in your um, area? 
So you wanna make sure that you are following all of your competitors, interacting with them, and you know just borrowing a lot of what they are finding success in right now in their businesses. So make sure you're everywhere, omni-channel, omnipresent. Make sure that you are looking at your competitors. What are they doing? Don't recreate the wheel. I mean, you have to recreate the content, of course, right? You want to put your own spin on it. You want to put your own uh, character into it, your own personality, and your own audience you know has a little bit of differences or focuses on a little bit of different things maybe you personally focus on a little bit of um you know are niched down a little bit differently but overall you can use little bits and pieces of what's going on in the market or within your competition to borrow that and use it in your own um business and the third way that you can use content marketing best practices right now is ideas from online communities. So right now, the two that come to mind, online communities, the two that come to mind for me right now would be Facebook groups, which yes, are still very, very popular, right? Some LinkedIn groups, but LinkedIn groups kind of fizzled. I don't know, I keep hearing that they're gonna come back. I'm in a couple of them, but I don't see any massive engagement but in um facebook groups there's still a lot of engagement so linkedin or F facebook groups is one great way and then the other great way i would say is um reddit Re to, you know look and see i would google but i know that my market's on reddit there are a lot of a lot of markets a lot of markets on reddit so figure out what they're talking about what's interesting them right now and get some ideas of how you can talk to them within the things that they're curious about or that they're talking about on those on in those online communities if you are new to my channel think about subscribing so on this channel we are always focused on small business owners, entrepreneurs, those soon to be, if you're thinking about doing it, we're focusing on you too, helping you to start, grow, and scale your business. We talk a lot about profit, content marketing, email marketing, and if you're interested in any of these topics, just consider subscribing. Hit that bell below and make sure that you are notified every single time we drop a video. Right now, we're dropping videos pretty much almost daily. So let us know if you have any content that you would like us to do for um, our next video. That'd be great too. And make sure you smash that like button. We love to see that you like what we have going on. So comment below this video. Let us know any content that you have going on or that you have questions about or that you would like to see us talk about to help you with your business. So again, if you are interested in the freebie that I was talking about before, I'd love to give it to you. Just leave me a comment below. It is about your um, blueprint, the one that my clients are using right now to create their own content marketing strategy. So let me know below this video.